While most factions wrote off the Dark Shogunate as a minor nuisance only, the skeletons based in the Black Desert City began to worry. It is not clear if they recognized Luatham for who he really was, or if they disagreed with his acts under a new name. Alas, since they rarely did much traveling, nobody really heard their warnings or ignored them if any trickled into more hospitable and populated areas. If at least United Cities were to listen, they could have stopped him early on. But nobles had other issues. First and foremost, they were concerned about how much money they can squeeze out of the peasants, and since Luatham was not endangering that yet, they didn't really care. Ashes he rises, he looks around, where is he now? The trade and imprisoned for one thousand years, now his free captors will pay their dues. It's time for his armies to grow, and he'll lead them to slay all his foes. Throw Cadlon off of his throne. Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome back to Kenshi, Legend of the Dark King. Welcome back, my friends. We are still in the Floodlands. We are still out there and we do have another place to hit. And that is this ancient ruins. So, uh, last episode, we've done some really good stuff. And uh, it's great. This is not great, though. I hate you already. <laughs> Great start. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, everybody is not on hold. They should be on hold because I don't really want to move in over here. By the way, while I was preparing for this episode, I dealt with four of these already. Two of them went swimming through here. It was really annoying to catch up to them. So, just another one bites the dust, right? All right. Uh, let's get Stilo to sprint for it. Because uh, it's a problem actually getting there. I don't know if my rangers could hit it. Actually, be on hold. Don't be sneaky. Shoot it if you can. I'm actually going to put you up front. And then if you can, shoot it, do it. So, um, while I was waiting, uh, actually, since we didn't have much ammo, I sent Wildfire, who is the fastest of the group, I sent him back and he just ran back to World's End and bought us a bunch of ammo. Uh, he was back in six hours, so fast he is. And he bought us a bunch of uh, ammo and everybody's got ammo now because we're gonna need it to do this. I swear to god, I hate you. I really do. Okay, this is now just you, Stilo. He almost took, you, took care of you, but my god, these things are so obnoxious. I really don't, don't appreciate them. Thank you, Stila. That's all you needed. Good thing you still had some uh, inventory space. Now fix you up, buddy. Because we're gonna need you. We're gonna need you. Okay, let's get you back to sneaking. Uh, of course, we are terrible at sneaking. And these rangers took down a couple of our boys, like uh, Rodin is in, covery, in recovery coma because of that. I think they took down uh, Rosco as well, but Rosco's back up. So it's really annoying. Uh, <laughs> but here we are. Here we are. Okay, Steel, you know what? Just run back here. Everybody else is gonna heal you. So, our goal today is this ancient lab. Now, uh, last episode I made a mistake that I was not aware of until today. You can see over here, skeletons are at minus 57. And if you look over here, into the Black Desert, Black Desert City and Scrap House are our enemies now. That's not good. You see, that is not good at all. I did not want that. Steel, what, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Get your ass back here. I did not, did not want that. Uh, but actually fighting those, whatever those skeletons out there were, that caused it. You know, when we assaulted this ancient distribution center, I was not aware those were part of the skeleton group. And stupid of me to not realize such a thing, but I did not realize such a thing. So, yeah, <laughs> that's bad. 
but that kind of answers uh, the fact that who is going to be the first major faction we attack? Well, skeletons just kind of declared war on us. I know some of you said the kingdom, since I'm already fighting them, and a lot of you apparently hate Holy Nation. I can understand those feelings. Uh, but those Skelly Bros, unfortunately, decide they want to kind of find us. We'll see how that goes. In any case, this thing. This thing lies ahead of us now. And we have to deal with it somehow. So, uh, Stilo, you should be the one to do the pulling, I think. Even though this is going to be severely obnoxious. Now, I need my three rangers as close as possible. Get off of sneaking, you silly billies. Uh, especially because we do have Wildfire. He's back on having his uh, heavy weapon, so he's got Spring Bat. And that should punch through, you know, uh, armor and such. So... This is gonna be fun, and when I say fun, I mean this is gonna be dangerous due to the fact that there's a lot of swimming in world and you can't fight in water. So there's one coming, potentially more, yeah, potentially more. Now these guys are also gonna have issues fighting those spooters because they're gonna be in water. You see? You guys shooting that thing? You guys better shoot that thing. And we do have one more coming. Alright, who's gonna be the one? My number one. This is very dangerous, so we need tanky boys. Like Clank. Gnu is tanky, even though he is not very strong. Okay, this bad boy is taking damage now. Okay, steal him, go for it. Nice block, buddy. Nice block. Bad hit. Okay, Clank. Run in here, taunt this one. You knew you'll stay here for a second. Okay, nice. We took one down. Took one down. You don't even have inventory space for that silly AI core. We do not have inventory space for AI cores. Except Steve kind of does. We'll get Steve over here. Okay, still get in there. Uh, you knew who told you to get in here? Get out here. Nice, nice, nice. That one is done and dusted as well. Okay, Steve, out here. Time to do some looting, boys. Time to do some looting. Round two, fight. Let's go. What we got in here. So we got a security boy, a security boy, and there's the butcher boy. Let's see if we can get the butcher boy out. He might get stuck on the entry. That's the thing, though. He already got stuck over there, but if we can get the two other boys, and they're pushing him out. Okay, Steel, let's get you out of here. I don't want all of you coming, no. Ooh, that's that's a lot. Okay, the butcher boy is stuck. That's good. Steel, chill here for a second. Uh, Clank, I need you coming over here as well. Uh, you guys start taking care of this boy. You all need you tanking soon. Okay. Let's get you two off of hold. Come on, Steeler. Get the boy. Before he smacks Clank a bit too much. He's even sna smacking New. Look at where New is standing. What? Are you kidding me? Gnu, please, dude. Come on. Okay. Gnu. Mm, pull back. Kill yourself. Steal and clank in here. Good thing. Really good thing. That thing, the butcher spider is stuck. Okay, you guys, chill back over here. We're getting Steven to loot. That's the most important part. Let's get those AI cores and Steve. Oh, look at that. The beauty. Yeah, damn it. Steve, get closer. All of this, just just all of this good stuff is gonna be not just money. It's gonna be everything. Everything. Oh yes. Oh yes. Uh it's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. We need we need We need all these resources. It's gonna be a lot of money out of uh, just this this thing. This 
this time we spent in here. Now, so far you hit it once, so this is not good. This is not good at all. But uh, when our boys are healed, I'm gonna send them back in. So, Stilo, you gonna fix yourself, dude? Fix your leg. Because our rangers right now are just popping into thin air. So let's see if you can unstuck this thing. You're gonna have to swim over here, and that's not gonna be good. Uh, maybe not. Maybe you don't need to swim over here. Nice block, buddy. Okay, let's have it come after you. Doesn't doesn't want to. Hmm, that's a slight problem. It's been at least shot. Clank, are you fixing yourself? You new, are you fixing yourself? Okay, somebody shot him. Good. Well, screw it, Stilo. You're the biggest, the baddest mother trucker in here with a Mei 2 weapon and some solid armor. So, you're the hero of this fight right now. Yeah, when it blocks 92, 93, that's pretty good. Pull back a bit. Okay, it's coming after you. Good, 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 good. Now we should be able to shoot it nicely. Uh, my boy Clank, let's get inside for some taunties. Let's fix yourself for a second. Let's get the Clank on the taunts. And then you swing in here with some damage. Come on, get that taunt going, buddy. Get that taunt going. Because it's going for Stilo, and we want him going for you, so Stilo can actually do the damage. <clears throat> nice block there, Stilo. Nice block, dude. Very good. Come on, keep on blocking. Rangers, are you doing any damage? Because I don't know if you are. It doesn't feel like you are. Look, it's morning, and you're still fighting this Butcher Spider. It's gonna be done soon, though. Oh, Steelo's got taunt on. Ah, of course. Steelo, you were supposed to be my DPS, not my tank. Clank was the tank. Good stuff. Good stuff. Perfect. Perfection. Okay. Let's have you guys pull back over here and let's do them heals. It's time to invite some more spooters. I have a feeling there's not going to be anybody downstairs yet. We now need to see how many there's upstairs. So... Let's actually go see that. We have two over here. And three up top. Okay, nothing too terrible. I have a feeling we should fight them in here. I think that's going to be easier. Yeah, I will bring you guys in here. The rest will chill. These guys are going to come in here to deal with, the, with all the stuff they need to deal with. Because these spooters tend to get stuck around... You know all these corners and such so it's it's much easier for us to fight in here and don't need to worry about any water issues because water issues are a real thing now of course if they do actually get to us then this becomes complicated due to the fact that uh, the Rangers don't have much space to actually play let's put you Steve in a corner over here Rangers let us position you proper over behind this barricade. Clank, come there, buddy. You knew you're here. Ray, you're here. Wow, you're pushing, you're pushing these boys around. Okay, okay. Let's have you taunt this thing. First one comes, and Clank, you should be in hold. So, Clanky boy, you stay there. Stilo, let's have you come down here. Let's hope it doesn't get... Uh... Okay, Clank, my tone boy, come over here. Stilo, let's have you go around. Okay, it's getting shot. Now, Stilo, you swing in from back here. I... See, this is what I didn't want. It's pushing, you know? That is obnoxious. And it's down. See, that was easy. That was easy. Good stuff. Steve, you have more space? Oh, come on. Steve, get here. Do that. Get back in the corner. Yeah, that's that's what I didn't want to happen. It's because it's it's obnoxiously pushing the stuff. It's pushing them, you know? So, yeah. But otherwise, I think this should be good. You know, the rangers pop from here. And uh, 
Yes. That should be fine. So, steal. Let's tell this guy that his mother is a dirty something something. Ray, you pull back here. Clanky boy, you pull back here. Stilo, come down here. He's gonna come. He's gonna come. Oh, Ray's trying to fight him there. <laughs> okay, Clank. Get him, boy. Okay, you come around, Stilo. And do some damage. Ray, did you get stuck? You know what, Ray? Come in here and swing as well. Oh, that was... That was real fast. Well, congratulations. I'm proud. Can we actually put... Yeah, we can put one more AI core on Steve. So, that's a freaking thing. And then, I don't know where we're gonna put the rest of the AI cores, but I think we're gonna take a lot of the stuff off of Steve. Because we're gonna need to make space for three more AI cores, which is not much, actually. We just take this, this off and that shirt off, and we should be Gucci. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. There you go. This should be space for more air yeah, course. Awesome. Okay, Steve. Let's get you back in a corner. Ray back in a corner. Clank. You know the drill. Stilo, so do you. Uh, let's have you pull this guy. Easy mode. Okay, let's not actually... Hmm. Go actually pull him. There you go. You come down, buddy. You come down. We're waiting for you. Our boys are waiting for you. Steve is trying to do something about it. Okay. Get you off of hold. Clank is blocking that passageway. Very nice. That's really good, Clank. You position yourself there. This thing ain't, isn't getting through. Also, you might get stuck in there. Oh. Oh, good. We we got him through. Oh, we good. We got him through. That's really good. That's really good. Sometimes they will get stuck in there and it's gonna be a problem. Steve, for fuck's sake, what are you doing, dude? Get over here. We need to loot. We need to loot and Steve, you're the man. Beautiful. Let's put that in there. And like I guess you're getting uh, filled in with this. Okay, Steve, go there. Still have a feeling. Good. Uh, Clank, you're the man to miss the tank. 45 melee defense, you know, he's living up to his reputation of being a Clank. I don't know what I was trying to say with that, but he's, he's doing good. He's doing good, that's all I'm trying to say. Okay, Clank here, Stila, you go uh, taunt the rest of the boys, which is two. Let's actually taunt both of them. And I have a feeling my boy Clank is coming. Clank, back here, hold, Steedo. Let's see uh, if the boys are coming or if they're getting stuck. One is getting stuck. I have a feeling the other one's gonna push him though. Yep. Okay, this is fine. Have one be here, have the other one be stuck. I'm fine, we deal with the one, we go play with the other. Oh, Ray's actually attacking there. It's kinda cool. He's getting shot. Stilo, my boy. Get in there. Clank is... Oh, very good. Very good. Let's have you hold here for a second. Okay, because the other one is coming. Good, Clank. You just uh, take care of this bad boy. See if you can drop this knot on the floor. It was not my intention. I wanted to put this on my boy Steve. Nope. Okay, well, Clank, you fight there. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Go in there. Hey! It wants to fight Steve. It definitely wants to fight Steve. But the thing is gonna go. Right? Push in here. Good job! We got them all, boys. We got them all. It is done. We're going out of the floodlands and we have looted everything. Most people are also quite healed. So that's definitely a bonus. And we have so much stuff to sell that... We'll probably make the world's end go bankrupt. Because, you know, there's just so much stuff we've got. And that's nice. Like, everybody is full on stuff. Look at this. Look at this. This is all like 6k. So yes, we we are gonna we're gonna make a lot of money.
just selling this and I have a feeling we're gonna go and do some well, I'm probably gonna buy some stuff at World's End at least I hope so uh, but yeah, we got some ancient uh, research books, which is what I really wanted out of this. Of course, we got way too many AI cores anyway. Unfortunately, this one that we dropped on the floor is now stolen from security spiders. So uh, it doesn't stack with this one, which just makes this a bit more annoying. But hey, it is what it is. We still got a lot of stuff and that's the most important thing. We got a lot of stuff and I'm happy. Because, uh, you know, this is something we came here for. And also, of course, the, all the fighting that we've done. So, yes, World's End is going to be the next place we go. We're going to sell over there. I'm going to look if there's any more recruits. Hazard lay in the dust of the desert for years and years without moving. Without being active. He was ignored by those who passed by because he was junk. Rusty metal that just laid in the sand of the great desert forgotten and lost until... Something happened. Old engines came back to life. Mechanical muscles started to move at first, clunky, but more and more the movement became graceful and swift. Nimble and quick, but yet he was not fully aware who he was or what happened. Days passed by without him even noticing or realizing as he just walked the dunes without a goal, but still driven by an ancient power, a feeling, if you can, that about a robusting about a robotic being. As suddenly as he had started to move in the first place came the memory and awareness and he realized that he was standing before a gateway with people walking past him without even taking notice of him. Shek, humans, Hiver, and even other skeletons. Wherever he was, this place looked deserted and old. Had so many years passed that the world was crumbling away? Has he come back to finally take his rightful place? The strange feeling he had. Yes, he had come back, and Hazard was sure he once more would be able to join his forces. Yes, but for now, he wouldn't wait for his lord and general to find him. Sitting down and thus the end, he leans back and he waits with patience that only an ageless machine can muster. But also, apparently he fights dogs and gets wrecked by doggos. Because <laughs> everybody else left him behind. Poor Hazard. You guys want to go uh, help back here? Because, you know, you guys ran through a pack of dogs and you kind of have issues. Oh, your arm got wrecked and you do not have a second. Ah, you do have a secondary. Oh! Is this the second time he lost the uh, right arm? What is, what is even going on right now? Hunter is inside of a tree being destroyed. Clang's over here. What What are you doing, people? Oh my god. That's what you get for trying to tell a story while moving around. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Pico! Where are you, buddy? Get your freaking ass back here. Jesus. Well, that was, uh, that was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, Hazard's story, even though it got slightly interrupted at the end by Hunter being stuck inside of a tree. No, that's Hazard. Hazard is now dying. Hunter did manage to get out of sight, but Hazard got himself stuck inside of a tree, dying. Everybody's just running through that tree. Yo, Severo, could you like pick up um, Hazard? Just get him out of here, because it's slightly annoying that he's in here. Hello, Pico. Welcome back, buddy. How are you doing? I'm guessing these dogs don't want to play with us anymore or something. Thank you. Now go fix it, everybody. We are fully healed and ready to go. Unfortunately, it does seem like uh, there's no really real recruits you would want right now over here, unfortunately. Uh, but that's, you know, we exhausted this place. We recruited a lot of people over here. But I think it's time we go towards the desert. I think that is going to be our goal today. How about you guys go down here? I mean... Look, there's this perfectly good path down here. Let's use it. So yeah, it's time we go home. We have gotten a lot of stuff. We can see we're up to 450,000. And I have bought every single possible weapon and armor recipe I could have found in the city. 
So I spent a lot of money on that. I probably spent like 200,000 on everything I bought as well. So we would have a lot more, but you know, that's why we have money to spend it. Uh, I think I only found one solid weapon, one upgrade for people to buy. So I bought this huge cleaver, which is a heavy weapon for our uh, Bane who was using playing before. So he's going to be able to train his strength and such with this bad boy a bit more. And I'm quite happy for him. So yeah, he's gonna use this huge cleaver. I still have Maul using this monstrosity. <laughs> uh, we want to replace him. We want to replace this with something else, but uh, we'll see what exactly. You know, probably should be best if we went into Shacklands. Those guys have uh, huge weapons, but right now I don't feel like I want to go near anywhere near the Fog Islands. And of course, then there's the Holy Nation in between. So I think. It's about time we go back home. We have a lot of stuff to deliver. So we're gonna go home, deliver all the goods, and then we're gonna do another expedition that's gonna go more towards the swamps, probably. So it looks like there is a lot of blood butchers that are also coming for us. Get them all, boys. They're actually, I think, losing against Holy Nation. Holy Nation boys. Holy Nation outlaws. That's really sad. Yeah, there's also some sand ninjas out there that I definitely want to catch up to. Take some of their stuff. Okay, that was easy. Looks like rangers might be going for it. No, they just took that boy down. Where are you going? You taking the sand on the sand ninjas? Yeah, they are. They're like, yup. We already know what you want to do. We're going for it. We are going for it. The good thing is these guys don't really have... Uh, much in case of armor, so easy mode. Wow, that's that's quite a battle out there. Can we see what's going on? United Cities versus whom? Can't really see. It's just giving me United Cities constantly. Come on, click on somebody else. Everybody's United Cities. That's that's definitely not how it is. The Holy Nation. Okay, so they're fighting the Holy Nation. Cool beans. We're just gonna take this fool down. Jiro is going for him. Hey, easy mode. Okay. Ah, uh, it's a crappy weapon. That's a crappy weapon. Let's uh, let's get you guys over here. Ooh, that's a Holy Nation army. Ah, uh, you see, these guys have their skills in seventies, but I think we could take them though. I think we could. Stop this, you. Stop pulling goddamn sand ninjas. What is wrong with you? <sighs> Fine. Go find sa fight sand ninjas. I'd rather you went to fight Holy Nation, but I guess sand ninjas will do for now. Oh, well, Holy Nation outlaws are going to fight those guys. Yep. Okay, well, sand ninjas are down. Let's go. Let's go, Holy Nation. Guts can find. Koteno can find. Han and Relina recovery coma. Rosco can find. Okay, that's uh, that's important to know as we're gonna go in there. This could be very dangerous, but oh look at that! Holy Nation Outlaws got uh, some ranged weaponry as well. That's so freaking cool. That is freaking cool. Now these guys are not hostile to us, uh, so they're not attacking us in sight. But when they see that we've got Scally boys. Oh, they'll go for us. Oh, they will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for a second, especially because there's these guys in here. I really don't want these guys coming in here and picking my fallen brethren down. Yeah, definitely not. Okay, let's put guts down. Let's put Coyoteno down. Let's put Roscoe down. Just carrying Roscoe. Wildfire. Put Roscoe down. Let's see how they react. Oh, looks like these guys might be coming in. Yeah, they're going for the Holy Nation as well. Did somebody just shoot Clank? Who shot Clank? Was it you? It wasn't you guys. I'm still letting these guys throw the first punch, you know? They don't wanna. They're like, no. 
The Anium Thieves. Interesting. Hello, sir. How do you do? How do you do? Everybody. Go in there, boys. Let's see how we fare against the Holy Nation. I have a feeling this is gonna be dangerous. Would you please leave these things be? Please. Get in here. Holy Nation, all that stuff. Come on. Rangers. Hey, <sighs> God damn it. You guys, why would you be attacking out there? N473, please. Stop. Stop fighting me. You bastards. There you go. Let's do this proper, boys. Hazard is down. I hate the fact that these guys are going after my rangers. Would you please stop doing that? Why do you have to be such a dick? Clank is down. Oh, Clank's leg is down. Yo, Guts. Guts is also down. I think we are doing worse than I imagined we will. Would you please leave my range units a fucking alone? What is wrong with you, you stupid holy servant? Don't make me kill you. Because I will. I swear to God, I will. How is Stila doing? What is wrong with everybody's legs? These guys are just the worst at chopping legs. Noxious. Well, fire, be careful. How you deal with this fool? Because he's got that stupid charge that he's gonna do. And now I have to babysit over here. Not like this murderer sentinel coming for BNB Lotus. Don't like that at all. Okay, that fool is down. M473 is being attacked. Let's have you go back. Pico, how you doing, buddy? Doing fine. Has it down here, Hunter's down here. Clank is going for him. Severe is down. Wow, everybody is down, but Ray, Stilo, Gnu, and our Rangers, and Pico. Okay, these guys did a lot better than I thought they would. Oh, I hate you so much. You fucking bastards. Get out of my face. Let me shoot you. Okay. I swear to God, if this guy picks one of our people... Bane has already been picked. Fuck off. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Leave my people alone. Pico, you go for them. This is not allowed. Not allowed. Oh, Jesus. Wildfire that was a nice shot, though. Crimson's up. Nice. Nice. Get him, boys. Okay. Shoot him in the face or something. And 473 was is also down because I couldn't pay attention to him. I hate you so much, you, you bastard. Would you please... Let me shoot you in the face. At least we took care of his uh, heavy weapon now. So, there's that. Less charging from you. PMB Lotus, who are you shooting at? A cannibal. That's smart, I guess. That is smart. You knew he's getting hit badly over here by the zealous paladin. I think everybody on both sides is down. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, Stilo got hurt real bad in the head. Real bad. Take him down, Malfire. Come on. You got this, bro. You got this. Punch through the armor. Where is he going? Did you get... Oh, uh, you got rid of both of his arms, did you? Okay. Any Anybody being carried away by any nasties? I don't know. Ray just went down over here. Red Ink is back up. Oh, Holy Nation Outlaws are fighting. They're helping. Go Red Ink. Nice, nice. You kind of missed the one. Where are you going? Did I tell you to go there? I don't know. But that's not the place to be. Nice hit there, Maul. Very nice hit there. You, you fell to the ground, but nice hit otherwise. Wildfire's doing great. Good. BMB. How you doing, buddy? You're shooting, right? Yep. This is important. We need to get Steel up. And N473 would be nice if he was up. 
I don't know if anybody's dying right now. That would be unfortunate. Oh, Jesus. He destroyed that fool. The fool has been destroyed. Okay, is that the murderer sentinel? That's a holy servant. That's dangerous. I don't like where you are going. I definitely don't like that. Okay, wildfire. I believe that you can do this. Nice wildfire. Very nice. Very nice. Fenner is back up. Crimson is gonna stand up. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, you dick. Get your face out of here. Stop doing this bullshit. Stop doing this bullshit. How are you all up again? <sighs> God damn it. I, I hate you so much. Oh, now Lotus went down because I can't babysit everybody. You fucking bastards. Holy nation. I hate you. Kaiteno's up and fighting. Good, good, good. Roscoe ate an arm. I hope it wasn't ours. But it potentially was. Anybody lost an appendage quite yet? Guts is close to losing a leg. That would be slightly unfortunate. These guys really do know how to chop uh, those limbs off, right? Uh, Steve's leg is not the best. Roscoe and Pico are up and fighting again. Okay. Nice, good damage over there, boys. Roscoe, you got him. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, Hunter went back down. Roscoe went back down. Ray, I'm even gonna tell you to take off your thing so you can actually potentially do some damage with that. Jesus, that's a lot of these bastards up again. Wildfire. Oh, you got a lot of jo a lot of work to do over here. Take him down. Take him down. Take him down, take him down, take him down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take him down. Where are you going with those uh, arms of yours? Where do you think you're going? Shoot him. Nice, nice. How close is he? Not close enough. Our mayor is back up. I see him fighting. Nice, good shooting, buddy. Just don't let him charge you. Because that thing's the worst. Like that. Good job. Shoot the right guy. Hey, stop chasing me. Our mare is running out there and doing some solid damage. And taking solid damage as well, of course. But, you know, kind of have to do. Kind of have to do. It was my uh, decision to go fight the Holy Nation. In hindsight, it was probably not the best decision. But if we can get through this, this is going to be great training for everybody. But mostly wildfire. Problem is, wildfire weapon requires him to be pretty damn close to actually be able to do this. Okay, at least we took care of his uh, heavy weapon right there. So that's acceptable. Oh, please don't shoot the cannibals. Let the cannibals fight there. There you go. Okay, these guys take care of this guy. Come on. Nice, beautiful. He is dying. Take care of this fool. Just trying to do something. What are you trying to do, buddy? What are you trying to accomplish over here? Very good. Take care of this guy. Just don't run out of ammo. And we're good. Anybody else up? Not right now. Wildfire is the, the man, the myth, the legend. But one hit to the stomach might take him down as well, so... You gotta be careful. Be careful. Luke Clang's back up. Nice, nice, nice. Steve's up. Roscoe's up. Good. Take him, boys. Take him. Raise up. Good. Okay, that guy, I think, just fell on the ground on his own. That's interesting. <laughs> to say the least. Roscoe just took one down. Roscoe is smacking the guy on the ground. Clang. We going up there. Ray is being a roboticist, which is great. Wildfire is going crazy out there. Let's heal up, boys. Let's heal him up. Let's go. We actually did it. Congratulations. Now let's see if we can fix everybody up before uh, they perish. Ray, dude, 
Please heal somebody. Holy nation boy. Ray, if you're not healing anybody else, at least heal yourself. Oh, somebody just lost an arm there. I think it was that holy nation guy. Clank, you're going for Pico? Yeah, fix Pico up. Roscoe and Steve are going to be our guardians of the galaxy right now. Fenner's back up. Let's go, boys. Let's go. This is going to be great. Anybody without an arm right now? Uh, I don't like this guy, though. Wildfire, shoot him in the face. Before he smacks everybody else. What? 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 Why are you mallying him? Why are you mallying him? God damn it. Look at that swing by Ray. <laughs> damn it. Did you just try shooting at this guy? Yeah, let him go out there. We need to get out of here before uh, more potential Holy Nation boys come. You never know what the United States boys will do. They might try to enslave you. I don't think these guys would, but you never know. Okay, let's go fix up all the robot boys, because then they can go fix up other robot boys. We have exactly enough people awake to be able to carry everybody out. That's... that's good luck, I would say. Actually, I never even tried looting these. So, you know what? While we are here right now, I'm gonna quickly send in somebody that's fast, like Wildfire. Just gonna quickly see if we can see what they have. I mean, the Great Salvage, huh? Yeah, that's that's bad. Let's see any of the stronger boys, not the Holy Chosen, but uh, Gazella's Paladin, who's playing dead right now. Refitted Blade. That's a specialist grade spiked helmet. Interesting. High grade Holy Nation stuff. It's all faction uniform. And while I did say we're gonna see if we can get some more uh, Holy Nation, not Holy Nation, any faction uniforms cleaned up, you guys have said that's okay. I still think um, we're gonna chill. Let's check this Holy Servant. This guy actually died. Good shots to the stomach, I guess. So these guys have a model third class. This is being manufactured by Priest Smiths. And I think this is added by... You know what? I don't know which mod adds this. But it might be Kenshi Kaiser that adds this. I'm not 100% sure though. In any case, uh, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here very slowly, but at least I, I want to get... Um, if we could get our asses out here to Spine Canyon, there should be enough places uh, where we can set up and just heal up for a second. And, you know, we're very slow right now. Like, Guts is the slowest. His leg is completely ranked, but he's one of the people that can actually carry the others, because everybody else is in recovery coma. And it's gonna be for a while, uh, it's my guess. Like, you can see these guys got hurt pretty badly. Uh, Bane's gonna be up soon-ish. Actually, Han is gonna be up soon-ish, and then... We can switch over there, but still. Han and Raleen's gonna be up soon-ish as well, so that's good. We found a nice vagrant camp over here. We're gonna see if these guys are gonna be nice to us and actually let us use their bedrolls. Hey, friends. If the Empire won't take us, then we look after each other. Good stuff. And we're gonna put our own people in here. And you guys aren't gonna steal our stuff, are you? I don't think they should. I think this should be friendly. Good stuff. Let's uh, let's put some people in in these beds, and let's have them heal up. I think that would be uh, actually great, so we can at least have everybody walk normally, and that would be amazing. And we can get out of this uh, place much faster. Even if no uh, nobody's like fully fully healed, we still can get out of here. So that's great. You could think Jiro is a nobody, just another drifter, but he once was a noblesman of an extinct clan called Yasukawa, and Jiro himself talks from time to time about how his father trained him as a sword saint of his family. This way he learned to masterfully wield the unhandy, unhandy Nodachi. The Yasukawa clan treated their people with honor, respect, and kindness, for they are the backbone of their clan's economy. As such, many farmers and peasants joined their reign and swore their loyalty to the Yasukawa. Other nobles didn't quite resonate with their new rule, and one night Emperor Tengu himself ordered a shinobi kill team to attack the Yasukawa estate 
in fear of their growth in power. Nearly everyone in the Yasukawa family was slain that night. Shinichi, Jiro's father, was captured and imprisoned in Tengu's vault. But Jiro fled with the katana his ancestors once wielded into the deep night of the dunes, while Tengu already split the lands of the Yasukawa to the other nobles. As an ex-noble, Jiro is now on the run from the UC. He seeks revenge for his family, so he can lay down the burden of guilt he felt when running away, instead of fighting the people that attacked his family. As such, he only refers to himself as Jiro, and not his real name. Today, the only memory of his clan left is on is a worn-out crest on the hilt of his katana. He has nothing to lose, a broken man. Fight and survival are the only duties left for him. And now, Jiro, you are part of something bigger. You're part of the Dark Shogunate, and we welcome you. Such a cool backstory. I love this one. Really nice, well written, buddy. I enjoyed it extremely. Everybody is healing up over here while we listen to Jiro's stories. And hopefully soon they will be healed enough that uh, we can continue on the last stretch of our uh, run today. We need to get home. Fender, you're almost healed. Let's get Jiro in there. And then we can actually have them walk faster. Well, everybody but Clank. Clank is... Well, Clank is Clank. What can you say? Oh, we can't get healed up without getting into trouble right away as well, huh? So you guys want to attack us. Red Ink is fighting corpses. Bad idea. This guy wants to make you a corpse. So how about that? How about we show them who is the boss over here? Show them, boys. Let's go. Very nice. Kurtana going in there. Crimson helping. Smack him up, boys. Han is going in there. Hazard, show them how good your new arm does. Uh, we should totally drop Clank on the floor. Because he's being carried. So, if you didn't notice... Well, I didn't actually show you. Uh, Hazard's got himself a new arm. And we got him a Masterwork Power Arm Mark 1. Plus 38% strength. So, he's a stronger boy. Which is good, because he's not a very strong boy otherwise. So, that works. Are you having issues with us? Nope. Okay, everybody is fine, everybody is Gucci. That's what you get, you silly man hunters for attacking us. We're going down to hang, uh, so we can repair our skellies, especially Clank, whose legs are not good. Like, he is uh, the kind of skeleton that heals really, really, really slow on his own. And, of course, on the bed as well. So, uh, yeah, he's just one of those. He has a lot of HP, but once you get him down, he's not going to recover that HP uh, anytime soon. Which is unfortunate, but, you know, that is that is the downside of him being extremely strong otherwise. So, yeah, it's, it's fine. Our Sand Ninja friends are over here. How about we say hi to them? I know we there's a lot more of us than there is of them, but... Uh, Every hit that we get on these guys and every hit that these guys uh, hit on us, it's a lot of skill points for everybody. Did you did you do attack all? Because it feels right now that you guys are not doing attack all. Yeah, that's that's better. So yeah, let's go for them. Good, good, good. Crimson and Jiro are destroying this fool. Steel is coming in there as well. Steve. Come on, get him boys. Ooh, Maul with that huge swing over there. <laughs> uh, we destroyed him once again. Who are you aiming at? Why are you attacking Vagrants, dude? That's Those guys are just hungry. They're just hungry. Just let them be, man. Just let them be. Uh, where's their dude? His guard was under attack. These guys are just shooting. That's okay. So this man might have something that could be of use to us. So let's go check him out. Katantu is not exactly amazing. Otherwise, things are special is great. So I guess we'll take that. The rest you can have. You guys stop this. Oh, so you did manage to pull like the whole uh, Vagrant Squad then. <laughs> Pico, eat him. Or somebody. Pico, get back. Okay, Pico, eat him. Who's out there? Manhunters. Yeah, I thought so. Well, we could fight those manhunters. 
Or we could not find the samurai over there. It's not that time yet. It's not that time yet. First we... You know what? First we actually have to get home. Because there's, there's a lot of big things around. So we're going to need to actually make it inside. Which is not going to be the easiest thing ever. Well, this is unfortunate. We can't heal over here. Because we are at war with skeletons. And this, this boy is a skeleton. Ah, oh, dude. Why do you have to be like that, Raph? Why do you have to be like that? Ugh. Oh. I came all the way here to heal up. Hmm. Oh my god. Hey guys. You guys are totally not broken, are you? Hmm. Totally not, right? Oh man. Please. They are all duplicates. I just need to find the man that actually might sell backpacks. You. Nope. Not you. Uh, anybody else? How about you? Maybe? No, not looking to change my face. Okay, do you have a... How about you? Are you a traitor? Jesus Christ. Who is your traitor? Don't tell me everybody else spawned like 17 times but not the traitor. Yes, thank you. Hey, hey. I have something to trade. Okay, they have one backpack. Well, we do have people without backpacks. I think actually might be just Raleen, so... There you go. No, uh, Gnu is also without that, but hey. Also, I'm buying every recipe we can find right now, so... This is good. This is a start. Nothing else really interests me. Nope. So, at least we got some stuff. And Berlin's got herself a backpack. Thanks for nothing, you skelly boys in here. We can't even fix that. This guy is also still here. He's been here for, I don't know, a very long time. Very, very long time. Well, let's go down here. So, uh, I did manage to buy Clank a weapon over here. These guys had some better weapons and I bought some recipes as well. So we have a Mark II Fragment Cleaver now. Which is kind of nice. Uh, I'm guessing Shinobi Thieves are doing their Shinobi stuff again. Fun. <laughs> you guys enjoy yourselves. After many, many days, we return to Gut. And uh, look who is here to welcome us. Yes, it is the Beakers. It is indeed the big boys. Smack them, friends. Smack them. Show them what we learned. Show them what we learned. Show them that not everybody's gonna go down anymore when the beakers come knocking. Go, Pico. Eat that one. Eat its face. Nice shots there. Somebody dealt 100 damage to it. Red Ink is going in there. Red Ink, you're just gonna get yourself hurt. It's not gonna even be fun. Come on, boys. You got this. There's fighting going uh, outside our gates. There's an elder beaker having fun out there. Well, we'll let it have fun. For now, everybody heal up over here. And let's see what's even happening out here. I think there's a caravan. Yes, it is. And it's really hard to see. Ooh, they actually took down the elder? No, they didn't. That's an elder that is down. This elder is not down. I wonder if our range boys can hit it. I don't think so. Uh, yes, potentially. Yes, potentially. You can also see that these gates are down. The beakers managed to get uh, that wrecked. I think it's only that elder that's a problem. Of course, there's another one up here. <laughs> that's not the first time that also happened. And we do have some new cool things out here. We are now growing hemp that I'm going to be using to make some power jennies because that's going to be the best thing to do. Uh, we also have a weapon smithy finally set up. Uh, we don't have steel production quite yet, but we do have that. And we do have a uh, heavy armor smithy over here. So hopefully, yes, yes, look at that. Our own specialist grade samurai stuff. Exactly what we wanted. They already made two sets. That's a masterwork samurai helmet. How beautiful. I'm not making the boots quite yet, but hey. Stempler's working on that while Arthur is uh, providing him with uh, armor plating. So all is well, all is good out here in the hood. It's time to get you guys all in. And hope that we can take down this beaker before everybody else comes in. Oh man. 
poor uh, pack beasts. There's a caravan gar. Okay, nice. We got that big boy. Very nice, very nice. Everybody come on in. I think uh, it's time we open these gates. It's been a, a long time since those gates were opened, but I think it is, again, time we opened them. And look at all these corpses. Isn't that beautiful? I think it is. Uh, a couple of people are going to come start burning those corpses, and that's okay. And we're going to have our new squad coming in. So you guys... I wouldn't mind if you shot that thing, if you could. Perfection. How about this thing? <laughs> yeah, you can. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, looks like we're gonna have... Potentially these beakers try to welcome us. Everybody's coming to repair the gate, correct. That's that's a very good idea. Okay, uh, we do have a welcoming com committee. Get your ass in there, Stilo. And show this thing that we are made of some sturdier blood now than we were before. Stilo at 65 melee attack. It's gonna do some good stuff. Oh, look at that. Elder's dying out there. That's so beautiful to see. Yeah. Beakers aren't gonna be a problem for you anymore, Stilo. You can take them down. Easy mode. Okay, let's get you in. Let's take care of that one as well. That's not allowed out here. Hazard, what you doing, buddy? Get in there, buddy. Okay, Steel is getting in. And I think it's time we close these gates once again. Now let's have them repaired. And in the meantime, we'll be able to start taking care of all this. No, that's not what I wanted you to do at all. There's an elder in here. We need to take it out. Boom. Oh, you guys went up there. It's not exactly the ones I would want you to be on, but sure. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. I guess I can give everybody jobs if they so desire. And you guys can burn these and this can be repaired. Oh, hell yeah, we're back home, boys. We're back home. Everybody's home. Everybody is going to have to say welcome to some of the new boys that haven't been here before. Now, BNB Lotus, I believe, wanted to be a farmer. So, a farmer you will be, buddy. And you can go play with all of these thousands of fields. How about that, BMB? How about that? Because there's nothing to do. If there's nothing else to do, you can always set up on a turret or something. I think that's going to be okay. Good stuff. Okay. I think this is a perfect time to finish the episode. I'm happy with how things are going. Uh, gotta remember... Oh, these guys are all nicely healing up. Good. Gotta remember to bring... Oh, you guys were hungry already. I wasn't even aware we ran out of food. Well done. These guys need to come over here so we can... Uh... Let's learn all of this. So we can get all of these books where they belong. Because we got a couple. Not many. But we have a couple of uh, ancient books that we want to deal with. Unfortunately, I mean, I wish we had more. That's all I'm going to say. I wish we had more ancient science books. Old World Bow Mark II. Well, that's going to be pretty good. Whenever our Fletcher is ready to actually do something about that, right? Inventory this. Or, you know, don't. Okay, well, for now, thank you everybody for watching i do hope you enjoyed this episode we're gonna go forward onwards to glory in the next episode i will probably do another expedition that's gonna go towards the swamps and that's gonna go also towards the shack territory because i do want to see what the shack are all about uh, this time of the year uh, at least get some of their uh, recipes for weapons as well because they're gonna have some heavy weapon recipes and we might, yeah, we, we might need some more of that. Would be, wouldn't mind that. Ooh, this isn't even all gonna fit in. Amazing. Also, that's what she said. <laughs> yes, I have 12 sometimes. In any case, thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed us, and I'll see you all next time. For now, care her out.